Water is the basis of life. It's a reason it's one of the first things we look for when we look for signs of life in other planets. However, especially here in the developed world, we tend to take advantage of it. We don't think about the logistics of it, how water gets to us or anything. And one of the aspects we especially don't think about is the economic side, the cost of water. Now, economics is based off of the supply and demand chart where as supply increases, demand decreases, and eventually an equilibrium point is met. However, so many complications come from directly trying to imply that onto the water industry. According to Charles W. Howe in the American Water Works Association, the complexities start with trying to develop a relevant and adequate measure of output. Output is frequently measured in terms of daily deliveries on an average basis, but such a simple measure covers up the details of seasonal, daily, and hourly patterns. Water pricing is different at night than at day. It's different during the summer months than in winter months, and so many other different factors are applied to water costs. However, what we do know about the water cost system is that it is not working. According to Patrick C. Mann in the American Water Works Association, the same journal how it written in years before him, states that it appears the traditional rate-setting methods used by both state regulatory commissions and local political bodies have resulted in deteriorating water systems characterized by aging facilities. Underpricing water service has caused water utilities to defer system maintenance and capital replacement. Uh, Patrick Mann wrote that in 1983, almost 35 years ago today. Not much has changed. Water pricing is still way too low. Everylittledrip.com made a table of the average water pricing along 15 developed countries. Germany was at the highest, at $1.91 per cubic meter, while Canada was at the lowest, at $0.40 cents per cubic meter. The U.S. was on fourth lowest on the list, at $0.51 cents per cubic meter. Now, if a person were to use 100 gallons a day, it would take them two and a half days in order to reach that cubic meter metric. Checking the system is really hard though. Water is a public issue, meaning it's, gov it's a government issue. And getting people to voluntarily spend more money while it's not an immediate issue is hard. And also, what type would we switch it to? What type of pricing would we switch it to? One of the pricing types being um, considered right now is marginal costs. Marginal costs, as Patrick Mann as well as Donald L. Schlanger explained, as the additional cost of producing or selling a single incremental unit. Thus, marginal cost of water service is the cost or savings incurred in providing more or less water service. The way marginal cost works is that it's the way the free market works. It's the idea that if you use more, you pay more. If you use less, you pay less. With this type of pricing, customers would be encouraged to be efficient and use less water because it's ultimately up to them how much they pay at the end of it. Also, this is the most accurate way to show the price to the co consumer, telling them how much water actually costs. However, there are problems when it comes to this type of pricing. Cost calculation is a big issue. You don't know. Marginal cost is based off of projections, not historical background. So you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how long summers are going to last. You don't know how long winters are going to last. You don't know how many droughts are going to happen. And that affects marginal because you don't know what to price it at. Also, each facility that is that applies, that gives their consumers their water is going to have different needs such as different costs of maintaining them, the different types of geologic, geographical variables they have to deal with, different types of water consumed in their area, so many others. Also, it's very hard to experiment and try these out. As mentioned before, it's a public issue. Laws and regulations take time, and especially if the system that you put in place falls flat on its face, it takes that amount of time, that long time, in order to switch back and move out. And if you're a politician, and you convinced your constituents to vote to pay more money, which they didn't like, and your plan falls on its face, say goodbye to your public office life. So, in conclusion, even with these issues, there's so much potential when it comes to marginal pricing, not to even mention the several other types of pricing, such as seasonal and inverted block rates. But this needs to be talked about and worked on now. If you need to see the way that this neglect, the underpricing water does, the, the results of it, look at Flint, Michigan. Their problems have started four years ago and they still are struggling to fix it today. 
if we're all honest with ourselves and take an objective look at this problem, we can see that this needs to be changed and we can be the ones to do it.